I feel like you've been a little off lately. You're moody, quick to lash out, overly judgmental about my decisions. It all sounds like typical me. Maybe those weren't the best examples, but I've known you long enough to realize when something's bothering you. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of getting impatient. I mean, teaming with Mickey has been fun, but I never thought it would last this long, and I definitely didn't see her singles title run happening. Now I'm basically waiting for someone to beat her so I can go after the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I've been dying to cross that off. Some might say you're a bit too focused on the list. Who's some? Are you some? Look, if you want my advice, I see two ways for you to get what you want. But the first option wouldn't be very honorable. What do you mean? If you and Mickey were to somehow lose your tag titles, then Mickey would be forced to retire and vacate her women's title, leaving you free to pursue it. Option number two, the more straight-up way of doing things, would be for you to tell Mickey exactly how you feel and challenge her to a match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, potentially crossing that off the list. But if you beat her, you'd also lose the tag titles and worse, end the career of your idol slash friend. I don't really love either option. This business forces you to make some tough decisions. But at least you're not choosing between competing in a tag title match or saving your mangled ear like McFoley once had to do. No, but if losing my ear was option three, I'd think I'd take it. The alternative is just waiting around for something to happen, and who knows how long that could take. You're right. I guess I should... Hey, Mickey. I need to talk to you about something. It's kind of personal, sorry. We'll catch up later. What's going on? Is everything okay? Yeah, well, not really. It's just lately... Uh, I'll just come out and say it. I want your title, and I know what that means for you and for us, but I don't think I can sit back any longer. You know what? I was waiting for this moment. You were? Look, I, I know who you are, what you're made of, what got you here. You're driven to be the very best. And I knew that being tag team champions would only satisfy you for so long. So you don't hate me? No, I get it. I actually respect you for your honesty. I can think of a couple other ways this could have gone down. But if I beat you, it's all over. If it's going to come to an end, and it will, sooner rather than later. I want you to be the one that does it. Besides, none of this would have even happened if it wasn't for you. But with all of that said, I've come too far to just roll over. If you face me for my title, you better be ready for a fight. <laughs> you know me. I wouldn't want it any other way. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. Corey, what must be going through the challenger's mind right now? Well, I hope she's not already thinking about how her side plates would look on the title. If she's already looking that far ahead, she's as good as done here tonight. You know, when you think headline, a pay-per-view, who do you think of? This woman right here. Mickey James! I think it's safe to say that Mickey James is one of the most distinguished superstars we've ever seen in women's competition. I'd go beyond that to say in any competition. 
The pile of accolades she's collected stacked on top of her veteran experience makes her one of the most respected competitors in the ring today, period. I second that, Cole. It's amazing to think back on everything that Mickey's accomplished. And here she is, still dealing out pain and keeping pace with the best of this generation. Introducing the challenger from Ponta Vedra Beach, Florida, L. And introducing the champion from Richmond, Virginia, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Mickey James. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. Months ago, Red essentially resuscitated her idol Mickey James career tonight. After issuing her an open and honest challenge, she may now cause it to come to a sudden conclusion. If you ask me, Red's being extremely selfish. She's prioritizing the list and her individual goals ahead of her tag team championship and her supposed friend's career. Uh, you may feel that way, but from all accounts, Mickey James was completely fine with how Red approached her regarding this match. She even said if she was going to lose her title and her career, she'd want it to be to Red. Well, I, for one, will never understand that. Watch out! In the corner now! Oops! Up and down! Boom! Oh, beautiful! Axe handle finds its target. Nothing's gonna stop her now. She's flipped the switch and the light is on. Up and around, down with a tilt to world backbreaker. The champ now absorbing a little damage. She can withstand the punishment though. And the DDT. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? All the way from the top row. <laughs> Snap suplex. Very effective. She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. Oh, a series of low kicks. Wendy Richter, Trish Stratus, Sherry Mattel, Lita. So many great Hall of Famers helped make the women's championship the prestigious prize it is today. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Oh, nasty impact. Three. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Now inside the ring. Oh, again! What a series of strikes from one of the most prolific strikers in the game. Mickey James appears to be on her last legs. I'm sorry. Red hits the mid kick. Is this the end for Mickey James? It's all over Red is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. And as a result, Mickey James' historic career has come to an end.
Red ended Mickey's career with her own move. What a true friend. I think it was actually a sign of respect to do it that way. Yeah, it was almost like a tribute. You know, it would have been a good tribute continuing to defend the tag championship and not ending your idol's career. You deserve this moment. A nice gesture from our new champion, Red, giving Mickey James a chance to say goodbye to the WWE Universe. And no matter how I feel about Red right now, I do want to say thank you to Mickey James. You will be missed. Thank you, Mickey.